Sandra, hi. hi. First of all, congratulations <laughs> on the movie. I'm still in awe of your talent. You did mm -hmm. such a wonderful job portraying Billie Holiday. Um, but how did you prepare for such an iconic yet emotionally demanding role, especially as a first time actress? Um, it was, I mean, I prepared, I spoke with Lee a lot, you know, because it was, I wanted to honor her legacy because I love her. But it was also about getting Lee's vision because he had a very specific vision for who he wanted his Billy to be, you know. And, um, and he had a desire to tell her story accurately and to allow her to be human. So a lot of prayer went into it for me, uh, conversations with Lee. He connected me to my acting coach, Tasha Smith, and my dialect coach, Tom Jones. And I did a ton of research, every book, every movie, every documentary, every audio recording when she's rehearsing or she's making sides and the difference of her interview voice and her just shooting the shit voice, you know what I mean? And, and, um, and then I lost a lot of weight. Um, I don't typically drink or smoke or cuss or have sex. Those are my own personal um, decisions for myself. So I started to smoke a lot of cigarettes, drink a lot of gin. Um, uh, and um, to just generally be more sort of sexual and loose in my behavior. Uh, and then Tasha, Lee, and Tom had me fill, you know, all the research we did with the voice and the breaking it up in the gravel. They were like, okay, great. Now you have to fill that with a human being. So they helped me to understand just like the craft of acting, you know what I mean? And, and the, the craft of being, I guess, is what it truly is and being present and and not being distracted by yourself, but using yourself to inform a character. Um, they really helped me to, to do that. And um, yeah, and understanding addiction, you know, understanding uh, that it is a mental illness. Uh, you know, it was, there was a lot of things that went into prep preparing for this role. Um, Lee said that when you think of civil rights leaders, you don't think of Billie Holiday at first, mm -hmm. but the movie shows how her singing Strange Fruit was an act of, of activism. How much did it mean for you to perform that song yourself? And how does it feel like to follow Billy's footsteps with your song, Rise Up? Mm. Um, I mean, first I'll deal with the latter part of that question is that it, um, it's gratitude. The feeling is gratitude because really she paved the way for me to be able to have a song like Rise Up, right? She paved the way for a lot of the great artists of the 60s, right? Who were talking about racism, who were, were against the war she paved the way for them to, to sing those songs and to write those songs because Strange Fruit was truly our first protest song, you know? Um, so, uh, it, I mean, it feels, I feel gratitude, you know, about um, being any part of that legacy. Uh, and then what, I'm sorry, what was the, the, the first part of the question? What it meant for you to perform that yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <clears throat> gratitude was a huge part of it. And I think before I got to set, it was about honoring Billie Holiday. It was an homage to her and wanting to honor her legacy. After I got to set and I became her more, as our spirits more deeply became intertwined, uh, it was urgency. I felt, I believe like her, where I'm singing this song and I almost feel angry that the audience is smiling at me or even that they're so emotionally invested, but at the end they get up and they clap and go, oh my gosh, that's amazing, that's beautiful. And it's like, how could you say a song like, this is not a beautiful song, this is an ugly song, it's a horrible song, you know what I mean? And I had a need when I was on set for people to do something about it before I died, because I believe Billy had an awareness that her life would be short. And, um, and so I held on to that when I was on set. And so there was a sense of urgency of get up do something about this before I die and no one will sing this song anymore, you know? And that's, that's really where my head was at on, on set performing the song. Right. Um, unfortunately, my time's already up. Just one last uh, question. Um, mm -hmm. When I talked to Lee, he described Billy as courageous. How would you describe her with one word? With one word. Um, I would, I mean, I would say courageous. I mean, I guess if I had to choose another word, I would say, I would say truth because in truth, I believe is love and is light and is courage and is strength and truth always prevails. So, yeah. Thank you so, so much. I wish you all the best with the movie. Bye. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Bye.